Hello and welcome. In this video lesson, you will learn about the specification tree options within CATIA v5. So, let's get started. You can set most display options for the specification tree by selecting Tools, Options, selecting Display from the tree on the left, and then selecting the appropriate tab. In the Tree Appearance tab, the tree type options offer several different ways to view the specification tree. Classical Windows style is the default view, and it offers a good compromise between compactness and richness of information. Most people use this style. Structure displays the parent-child relationships more clearly. However, it takes a lot of screen space. Relational shows exactly which objects depend on other objects. Constructive Historic has a similar view looking like a typical family tree. With both Constructive Historic and Relational, you have the option of specifying horizontal or vertical orientation. Other display options are as following. Tree item size controls the length of the text field for each node on the tree. Text dependent displays the full text for each node. This can make the tree wide and obscure some of the geometry. If you are short on screen space, select fixed size to limit each node to a specified number of characters. But remember that this can make the tree difficult to read. Activating Tree Show No Show mode makes hidden objects visible in the tree with shaded icons. If you deactivate this option, hidden objects do not display in the tree at all. To take modifications into account, you need to restart CATIA session. To manipulate the tree for viewing purposes, select the Tree Manipulation tab. Automatic scroll activation during drag drop moves the specification tree in the graphics window when you need to access a node that is out of view. Activating display geometry during tree scrolling maintains the geometry display while you scroll through the specification tree. Automatic expand activation expands the nodes of the specification tree automatically. To take modifications into account, you need to restart CATIA session. Activating tree zoom after clicking on any branch allows you to manipulate the specification tree as you would the model in the graphics window. To control what object types display in the tree while working in a CATIA part file, select Part Infrastructure from the Infrastructure heading and then select the Display tab. Activating an option enables the display of that object type in the tree. That completes this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.